Hello, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Philip Homiser, and this tutorial was a request from Summer. She wanted to know how I make those light ray effects, and I do that a number of different ways. I'm going to start with this one. Um, it really depends on your scene. Um, this one, you know, the background is really blurred out, and so the light rays obviously need to be kind of blurred. <laughs> and uh, in this particular scene, the sun isn't actually in it, I don't think. It's probably like up here, it's kind of close. I'm going to fake it, make it look like it's coming from right over here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, just go ahead and make a, a, a duplicate of your background layer, so it'll be the same as what you have here. And go up to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur, and I already have everything set here. Um, set it to the blurred method to Zoom, and I'm going to set this to Draft for now, the quality, and turn the amount to 100%. And then you can grab this. And move it around to wherever you want. And it's a little tricky because I, I kind of wish they'd put like a little preview right here because you just have to guess. And so I'm going to guess because I want to put it like right about here. And the reason I put this quality and zoom on uh, draft is because it takes a while for it to process. So you want to get it set where you want it. You'll have to probably try that a couple of times. Hit that and then, okay, so that's pretty close. I want to move it over just a little bit more. So back that up and uh, undo that and then uh, go back, move it over just a little bit and try it again. And then once you get it where you want it, that's perfect. Then undo it again, go back and set the quality to either good or best. And this usually takes a while, I'm gonna just skip ahead. Okay, now I'm gonna add a layer mask to that and invert it and I'm gonna grab my brush tool set the opacity to something like 30% uh, is probably good um, make sure you have the white selected or whatever the opposite of your mask is and you can just start painting it on And try not to get it on him. Some people can mask, you, you could mask him out, but um, if, you know, if you're um, careful enough, you can get it, get it around him. And you can get, you can get pretty close and then paint it back off later. Switch back to black and just paint it off of him if you get on it, any on him. So anyway, that's, uh, that's how you do that. That's pretty basic and it, uh, it's a pretty neat looking effect. Uh, the, the neat thing about this is it uses, it actually uses the picture itself to create the light beams. Um, so it actually looks like <laughs> the sun beams are coming from there because it uses the trees and everything in the background to create the beams. So that's a very realistic effect. I like that a lot. So let's go over to the next scene and uh, I'm going to show you how I did this one. And there's a couple of ways you can do this one too. Um, the way I did this one was I actually painted them in manually. And what I do is I find a point over here. So you can see where the light source is obviously over here somewhere. And um, I'm going to say it's right here. So you just click and just make sure that's your point from, from then on. And uh, I'm just going to try to mimic where these light beams are here. And then go all the way back up here to there. Actually, I'm going to have to redo something. <laughs> yeah, I have to create a new layer. Do that there. Okay, let's, let's try that again. Ah, no, I don't want to crop. <laughs> Alright, so start from here. And just go ahead and do like that. Uh, make sure you have white selected, or actually, no, I, I purposely put a different color there. I'm going to try to match the light in the room. So just come up here, same spot. And I'm going to go over here this time.
And maybe one more. So we're kind of over here by the cars. Maybe something like that. Okay. So now you can take this, um, and there's a couple of things you can do with this. You can put a mask on and set to like 50%. And now you can, if you want to, go in here with the brush tool and just paint out like the black areas. Oh boy. It's almost time to go to work. Uh, oh, okay. Make sure your opacity is set to 100%. And let's paint some of that out. It really wasn't going to matter a whole lot because we're going to blur this. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And just give it a really nice blur. And there we go. And then you can back the opacity up a little bit. And this is, uh, this works pretty good. This is a pretty nice effect. And another way you can do this, I'm gonna delete that real quick. Um, this, would, this one would work a lot better outside if maybe you're, um, the whole scene is in focus and you wanted your light beams to be more realistic and a little more pronounced. Um, you can go down here and select uh, gradient, set the style to angle, um, just click your gradient over here and set the gradient type to noise and set the color uh, to HSB and then bring the saturation all the way down. And then you can randomize it until you kind of get what you're looking for. I kind of like that one there. And then you can grab this and move it into that point that I was talking about over here. Maybe rotate a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to set this to, well, actually, I'm just going to set the blending mode to screen. And now um, I'm going to apply a levels layer to that and select. Uh, this here to where it'll only affect the layer b below it. Excuse me. I was gonna, I was gonna take a drink of water, but my water's gone. <laughs> can dry it out. And you can just play with these to try to make it the kind of the way you want it. Kind of like that. I'm happy with that. And again, uh, you can go down here and grab your uh, gradient filter and invert the mask. Now you can just paint that back in with your brush tool. Set the opacity to something like 30%. And then you just kind of paint it in wherever you want it. Oh, and I don't know why it does that. I don't know if this is a glitch in Photoshop. Every time I do that, the thing always moves around. So if it does, you can always grab, you can always open it up like that again and move it where you want it. So that, uh, th like I said, this works a lot better outside, but I just wanted to show that to you. I don't have an example that I can give you a picture right now, so I just add it here. Um, if you did want to use that in here, one thing you can do, I guess, is select your um, curves or your levels layer and your gradient filter and um, just combine those together and then you can come up to your filter and add that Gaussian blur just like it did we did to the other one. I think it'll work. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, here we go. There. Okay, I'm gonna have the same effect there. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, that's it's pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, if you have like if you have a scene that's like um, well, like this one, I changed the color of the light. You might want to change the color, uh, especially if it's like sunlight, which is like 98.9% .9 of all my pictures is always the sunlight coming through from somewhere. Um, change the color to, you know, something more yellow-ish, something that matches the sun. Not too much, but like down here, I, I kind of had something down here. I think I just used the eyedrop tool and selected something around him, 
which probably actually was just reflecting from his shirt. So but I mean like something like this probably, not much at all. So anyway, I uh, hope this is helpful to you. Um, if it was, uh, subscribe to the channel to see the next tutorials as they come out. Uh, if you have any comments, just leave them in the comments below, <laughs> or questions. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, I'll just add this too here real quick. You notice the dust particles in here. Um, also, I have some in this one, but I turn them off. Little dust particles in there. Uh, these are my dust part of my dust particle overlay package, and um, you can get that at my website. I'll leave a, a link in the description below. Uh, I just come out with this, but um, I spent a lot a lot of time trying to figure out how to take a picture of dust <laughs> to use uh, for these, and it's been really nice. I've been using it for a lot of my images. Um, so yeah, if you want to get a copy of that, uh, just go check that out, and uh, I would really appreciate that. I'm trying to see if I have that in here somewhere. Where there it is. Yeah. So there's without. There's with it. And there's 30 different kinds in there. There's a quite a variety to choose from. So anyway, um, hope you guys have a great day, and I will get to you next time.